Hi guys, this is gonna be a quick review and unboxing of the Arado 196E3C plane from Revell, 30 second scale. Uh, I already, already emptied the box because I'm doing this review without my assistant and wife. And uh, I'm sorry for the poor quality of it because I'm going to be doing everything by myself and I'm going to be opening the envelopes but this is what I'm capable of when I'm without a helping hand so I already emptied the box and I'm going to be doing this the other way around so we're going to start with decals uh, it's a big sheet printed in 2010 they have German options only and then onto the instruction sheet the instruction sheet is typical Ravel old school instruction sheet which in my opinion is not up to the newest standards when we have Bronco and, and Mank and um, biggest to me kids with additional goodies like a colored uh, leaflets and everything it has very detailed color information but that's not enough so we gotta improve the second thing that i don't like about them is that they seem to be unusually complicated but it's a revel you know it's a very nice company and all the companies have their weaknesses so boxes and uh, instruction sheets are one of them the box actually is uh, again typical Revell but as you can see it's got to be open from its side which is not something we're used to okay more instructions I assume that you cannot get the idea of everything from those instructions from such a short reviewing of the pages but any of you who have uh, been through Revel kits knows their their stuff knows how that it works with their instructions and this is it this is a painting guide I think that the camouflage of these aircraft was a standard so even if you decide to do another country there is going to be a if there is a difference it's not going to be a huge one okay, you can see the detail it's not so bad but for 30 second scale kit I think it's not enough this is a pad that you can put your airplane I have seen that's the interior I have seen one built and it allows you to fold the wings and it allows you to place it on that pad which eventually saves you some time from making your own pad and something but as I said some of the details are they're good but they could have been far better in the end this is a 30 second scale kit one more with the floats okay we have some additional thing here safety advice or something probably about the missing parts which I had to had one time like 15 years ago about one uh, of their 148 scale kits and I wrote them a letter including this sheet but they never returned anything I've heard that now they switched parts quite uh, eagerly so this problem is not existing anymore but 15 years ago they haven't replied or sent me the replacement parts so I don't get in the end 
this is the main body fuselage I'm sorry I'm trying to get on focus here it looks tough but it's not stuffed kits are consistent in many sprues and here we have some but they're they're repeating sprues I see lack of riveting here so you can imagine that even if you do it like that you can still get a wonderful kit because the weathering of the of the seaplanes is uh, different it's uh, heavier than the the regular ones especially ones who worked in the salt waters like uh, Bulgaria had uh, those airplanes and actually one of the two remaining in the world is uh, in Bulgaria near Graf Museum and uh, they they used to be part by by a lake which is connected with the sea so uh, they landed in in the shore in the sea and they got in, interactions with salted water which you can imagine what kind of a weathering will give you heavy and uh, different with white spots so even if you don't use the rivets you don't do them because they they are missing here you can still squeeze a lot from this model so this is it i think that it's simple one especially for the 30 second scale kit but it's a good one because from what i've seen during the last years Ravel have improved their fit their their molding quality and everything so i would still recommend this kit thank you for watching